sustainability and specifically through energy conservation is important because every dollar that we provide to our energy service providers is a dollar less that we have here to impact student achievement. These funds can be used for a better purpose. I manage a total of 66 buildings. I want to reduce the overall amount of money that we spend on on unnecessary waste. We do a very good job with controlling equipment, but it's really it is our cultural piece and that behavioral piece that's been missing in our school district, so that we're leaving a lot of dollars on the table. Studies have shown that upwards of 20% of energy savings can result from occupant behavior. Student participation is key. How do we teach fifth graders what energy is? You can't taste it, and you can't see it, you can't touch it. Building OS has made things more tangible for the students. Every day we start off by checking Building OS, looking at the energy we've used from the previous day. We like to compare and talk about maybe why we used more energy on a certain day or why we used less on another day. Building OS is just an awesome tool. It's a place where they can learn about energy efficiency, about HVAC systems, about organizing, organizing their fellow students. Building OS, it shows us the amount of energy we've saved per week. The first time I heard about this, I thought we were going to be going down into the basement and all that stuff to check it out. Down in the basement, it just shows the numbers. But with this, it shows us a graph and what we can do better. Well, they've gotten so excited about making sure lights are turned off in the school, um, projectors are turned off during the day. They really are aware of the, the energy use within the building. We've been making videos on the announcements so that everyone in the school can know about it. Just through these small groups and the information gleaned from Building OS, they are able to translate complex ideas related to energy and their school's energy use. To their fellow students, it's infectious. Last semester, we saved a total of $30,000. That was over a four-month period. And so far this year, we have about two and a half months of data. I wouldn't be surprised if we tripled that savings. Our incentive program is designed to return 20% of that back to the school. I'm proud to say that we're one of the first school districts in Colorado to have this technology. It's given me a whole set of thousands of additional eyes, which I can use at my disposal to evaluate energy efficient opportunities, to, to identify waste. The fact that I can literally look at the dashboard and say, what is going on here, and immediately have that issue or problem or, or spike in energy use resolved that same day is huge. Instead of looking at paper bills from our utility company, it's real-time data. The fact that a school district has access to real-time data, we're going to see real-time changes. Adults are pretty set in their ways, but students aren't. Students are open-minded. We've got 41,000 students and about 5,000 employees. If we can get those 40,000 students leveraged and understanding the importance of conserving energy mandates and board policies, they're effective for the first few months and then everybody kind of forgets about them. A cultural change is something that can live on for years. We only have one planet. And if we didn't have one, we wouldn't actually be here. We don't get another chance. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could have no pollution in the air. Anybody can change the planet. They start seeing, wow, we implemented a composting program, and wow, we saved a ton of energy, and we earned cash incentives for doing that. And so they become empowered. That to me is where the magic really happens, and the students and our, our youth are leading the charge for environmental change. And what I love is that here they are working together to solve some of the problems that everyone faces in their backyard.